All right, good morning, everybody. It's Sunday, September 16th, uh, 10.20 in the morning. Um, I'm doing my thrift store shopping. I talk about it all the time on my videos uh, where I hit the four different thrift stores. They do the 25 cent sale, the Super Sunday sale. Uh, I woke up a little bit late today. I got off work late last night, so I'm getting a late start. Normally, I want to be there about 9.45 at the latest where I'm in line waiting to get in. So we'll be still in pickings today. So I'm getting in a little bit late. Dropped the wife off at thrift store location number one already. Um, and I'm heading to the second thrift store down the street from there. Then I'll go back, grab her, and we'll go to the two on the other side of town and uh, see what they got left over there. So I'm just gonna kind of take you guys along, show y'all what I get, show y'all what I'm doing, and uh, see what we can do today. Uh, you know, like I'll explain again, you know, Super Sunday sale, they have a certain color of the week. Um, it's normally after, I think, five cycles through, five weeks through, the item's been there. After markdown, markdown, markdown. On that fifth day, they're gonna do um, uh, anything of that color, it's 25 cents each, or five for a dollar. Um, and it doesn't matter what it is, furniture, electronics, anything in the store, if it's that color, then you're getting it 25 cents each or five for a dollar. So that's what we're going after today. I try not to look at too much of uh, any other colored items. I mainly just go for these uh, specialty items. Um, it's where I get my bang for buck. Like you said, last weekend, I got the love seat for uh, 25 cents. And then I turned around, resold it in three days for $40. So it's uh, definitely a really good flip doing this 25 cent sale uh you get some good clothes out of me all kinds of good stuff a lot of people are doing this they're going after just the clothes me i'm going after um, all the other stuff Eleven fifteen. I'm just now looking to leave that first thrift store. Normally I'm in and out of there by about 10, 20, 10, 30 at the latest. Uh, I'm heading back to the uh, the other thrift store right by my house. I can get the wife, see what all she got, and then we'll start heading to the last two thrift stores. The last two thrift stores, we normally don't get a whole lot at them because they're so far out. Everyone's already done ran through them. And especially today, it's even going to be worse because we're about an hour behind. Um, as y'all seen, you know, that line is so long there. It takes about 30 to 40 minutes to get to that line. Whenever you, you get there late, you just gonna have to face up with that line. And uh, you don't take away my time from hunting. But you know, I think I did pretty good. Um, everything, you know, I posted there, there was uh, one of those scrubs, which I've never sold scrubs before. It's uh, a couple things I'm trying to get into now, see how they sell, just from watching different videos and uh, seeing the other people's results from them. One of those scrubs was $1.98. Uh, it's a scrub that you'd probably wear at like a vet, uh, vet would wear. Uh, the lady didn't realize it was a $1.98 tag. She rang it up as a quarter also, so that worked out great. So my total came up, I think it was $3.26 there. Uh, great deal. Um, I'm gonna make some good money out of that. Uh, I'll probably post another video later after I uh, start deciding how much I'm gonna sell things at. The scrubs, I'll probably sell those for, um, you know, anywhere between $5 and, or uh, I'll make profit $5 off of them. Uh, but they'll probably sell anywhere between ten dollars and twenty dollars you know depending on how the market goes right then um i don't really remember what else about all oh, the video games i buy tons and tons and tons of video games i need to stop because i have so many of them i'm um, getting ready to do a big bulk sale on the video games to sell It's just kind of finishing up the video I started today. Uh, the overhaul for what I've done. I'll kind of go through everything, which I'll show y'all. What I got at Goodwillin, 
and what I got at the other thrift stores. And I did I hit up one garage sale. This is the only garage sale items I got. Uh, so the tags, 1970s Coke cans. I'm not sure. I haven't checked out the dates yet on it, but I picked those up for a dollar. I have these buttons for 25 cents each. Trace, uh, Dick Tracy, ah, Iron Maiden, and Beavis and Butthead. Uh, so that's why I got garage selling. Did dollar seventy five for all that. This right here was the first thrift store that my wife went to. This was her pickup. She spent uh, five dollars on all this. Um, let's see, we got a, a little Minnie Mouse watch there. That's probably one of the biggest things that we got out of there. We make some good money off of some sunglasses. I haven't really looked at these brands myself. But normally when the thrift store there, they put the tags on like this. They're, they've looked them up in there, worth some decent money. Uh, normally when we buy DVDs. I mainly just go after kid DVDs and I kind of bundle them up. Uh, and I buy like anything video games. So that right there, she spent uh, a little bit of just some uh, throw jewelry. That costume jewelry we'll throw in a box. We got a huge box full of costume jewelry from all the stores as we do. So eventually one of these days we'll start selling all the jewelry. But that's what she bought on her first one. Uh, so then I already showed you guys what I bought in my first thrift store. Willie went to two thrift stores today, so the second one, uh, I walked away with this right here. Uh, oh, and these two guitars. So the Guitar Heroes, if you guys haven't ever looked them up before, uh, they can go anywhere between 25 to 50 bucks each on uh, eBay. So you definitely want to pick those up, especially if you got the kind like this, where it's the breakaway next. It makes it easier to ship them. Um, I hadn't looked, and most of the stuff I hadn't looked up, I just buy it as I go. I think it's, you know, 25 cents, it's worth it. A little Mark McGuire, um, beanie bit right there. Uh, Sony cassette deck, and it's got the built-in AM, FM, um, radio in it. So, that was the second, or number three, th uh, thrift store. So then after that, we went to, uh, the Goodwill outlet. I don't know if every, every state has Goodwill outlets. But all of this over here came from the Goodwill outlet. And the Goodwill outlet, if you guys aren't familiar with it, if y'all don't have them yourselves, uh, it's basically they just have it all in their bulk and bins. You guys seen some of the video from earlier that was at the outlet. Uh, and it's sold by the pounds, 49 cents a pound. So I got all this right here. came to, I forget how many pounds it was, but it was like a $14 after tax for everything you see here. Now let's kind of go through some of the stuff real quick. A whole bunch of these um, little baby... Baby safety things for like uh, cabinets, all that stuff. Really nice pair of shoes. And there's tons of shoes, but we don't really go through the shoes a lot. But these are nice shoes. They'll sell real quick and easy. Uh, well, Viewmaster is brand new. And like I said, most of the stuff I hadn't looked up, I just use my guess whether I think it's going to sell or something I've sold before. I have a whole bunch of these. Um, let's see, I think some of them were Topps playing cards. This, uh, this was the first one I saw. Jeff Gordon. I don't know if it's a true signature or not, but it's plaque, so. It may be Cowboys. We'll kind of go through these real quick. Let's see, we got Emmett Smith. And I figure, you know, no matter what, even if they're not truly worth a lot, um, somebody took the time to plaque them like this. So they're possibly going to worth some money. And if not, I mean, hey, I paid $15 for all of this. So I think these are pretty good ones to get, you know. Let's see who we got here. Another Emmett Smith one. So those will definitely sell whether I sell them on eBay or local. Those will sell for at least 20 bucks guaranteed. I got this wire here. Uh, that'll sell on eBay for about 15 bucks. It's brand new. A whole bunch of these books. The books we're going to leave for my kids. They're really nice, good condition books. Uh, a whole little doctor kit here. That will go to the kids. There's a bunch of other stuff that's going to go to the kids that I didn't put up here, like clothes and stuff like that. Uh, this right here. I wasn't sure what it was. I kind of assumed it was a Google Home. And then I plugged it in when I got to the house, and that's a Google Home. Uh, rock Band. Uh, the drum sticks for Rock Band. Uh, this right here is an adapter for Rock Band. I didn't take, they have the whole drum set, but I didn't feel like doing the drum set, so I just grabbed a one, two out of there. These right here, um, I'm not sure. I bought them. I figured I could sell them. They, they're in the package, so I'll look them up and see if I can sell them tonight. No big waste. And then it's got over here a bunch of Bunch of these little rubber ducks, you know. Uh, I normally last uh, grass I had, I sold a whole bunch like this for about five bucks for the whole set. There's a ton of these little um, little flipper zoo things, whatever they're called. And just flip them over, and they become new guys. So I'll probably let the kids keep a bunch of those and sell a bunch. I mean, there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen of those. So that's pretty good. 
I got a, let's see where these guys are at. There's two of these little Thor bobbleheads. Um, I got a PS2 out of there. Uh, brand new Frozen puzzles, four puzzles in one. Uh, two of these pencil sharpeners are battery powered. Um, another Victoria's Secret bra, those sell really good on eBay. This little stereo system here, uh, it's garbage. I'll just chunk that since this video's over. It didn't work. And then I got the keyboard there. Uh, I need a new keyboard for my laptop because uh, I don't like using the laptop keyboard, so I'll probably just keep that one. And then these also are um, little doorknob protectors for whenever you're for baby proofing, you know, keep kids off the door. So HDMI cord there. But overall, I think I did pretty good. So in all, today I spent, let's see, 15. I think I did 16. I think I spent about $10 at this garage, this um, thrift store here for these control guitars. They were $4 each. So I probably spent about 25 bucks and I'll definitely make somewhere in the hundred area because the PS2 that by itself with no cords can easily sell for 30 to 50 bucks and then making the money on the rest of the stuff. So I think I did pretty good today. Hope you guys keep watching. Signing out.